Oh, welcome, dear listeners. Have you heard the rumour that introverts can't be social? That's a myth we're about to debunk. You see, introversion isn't synonymous with being antisocial. It's about energy management. Introverts recharge in solitude, while extroverts gain energy from social interactions. But that doesn't mean introverts can't enjoy socialising or excel in it. In fact, they can be remarkably good at it in their own unique ways. Today, we're embarking on an enlightening journey to help introverts navigate the vibrant world of social situations. We'll tackle common misconceptions, break down barriers, and reveal how you can shine in social settings while staying true to your introverted self. Whether it's a laid-back gathering, a bustling party, or a professional networking event with our tailored 10-step guide, you'll be ready to embrace it all. So let's dive into our 10-step guide to help you, our introverted friends, shine in social settings. Step one, craft your own social comfort zone. It's crucial to set social goals that resonate with your comfort level. Think of it as tailoring your social experiences to fit you perfectly. Start small, perhaps by attending a close friend's gathering before plunging into larger events. This way, you're gradually expanding your social horizons at your own pace. And remember, it's not a race. It's about embracing the journey of socialization. Remember, progress is progress, no matter how small. Now, on to steps two through five. Step two is about harnessing the power of active listening. This means focusing on others during conversations, asking insightful questions, and letting the spotlight shine on them. It's about engaging and responding thoughtfully, creating a two-way dialogue that fosters connection. For step three, we're turning small talk into meaningful connections. Use those initial, surface-level conversations as a stepping stone to delve into deeper topics. Ask about their hobbies, passions and dreams, and you'll find common ground in no time. Step 4 encourages you to seek social groups with shared interests. Join clubs or groups where you can bond over shared hobbies. It's a great way to connect with like-minded individuals and build your social confidence. Finally, Step 5 is all about channeling positive body language. Convey openness and confidence through maintaining eye contact, smiling and standing tall. Your body language can speak volumes even when words are few. With these steps, you're well on your way to becoming a social introvert. Ready for more? Let's tackle steps six through eight next. Step six is all about arming yourself with conversation starters. Having a few interesting topics up your sleeve, like recent movies, books, or travel experiences, can be your secret weapon to keep conversations flowing smoothly. Moving on to step seven, we're talking about the power of digital icebreakers. Don't be shy to initiate conversations online before in-person events. A friendly message to someone you'd like to connect with at the event can go a long way in easing the transition from screen to face-to-face -face interaction. And finally, step eight highlights the importance of scheduling me time before socializing. Allocating some quiet time to recharge your energy before heading to a party can help you feel centered and ready to engage. Remember, preparation and self-care are key to your social success. Finally, we've reached steps nine and 10. Let's talk about the art of the graceful exit. As an introvert, it's essential to recognize when your social energy is depleting. There's no need to push yourself beyond your limits. When it's time to leave, do so with grace. Thank the host, express your gratitude for the wonderful time, and make your exit. Remember, it's perfectly fine to recharge when you need to. Moving on to our final step, celebrating your social wins. Every social interaction, no matter how small, is a victory. Did you attend a social event? That's a win. Did you engage in meaningful conversations? Another win. It's crucial to acknowledge and celebrate these successes. They are proof that you're making progress and growing your social skills. With these final steps, you're fully equipped to navigate the social seas with confidence and grace. And there you have it. 10 steps to unlock your social potential as an introvert. From crafting your social comfort zone to mastering the graceful exit, these tips are designed to help you shine in social situations without compromising your introverted charm. It's all about celebrating your unique strengths and thriving in your social life on your own terms. Remember, being introverted is not a limitation, but a unique strength. So here's to thriving in your social life on your own terms. 
If you found these tips helpful, please comment below. Also, please share this video and don't forget to subscribe as this will help our channel grow. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.